Welcome back. This is Women's Health Week, and an issue a lot of women face is hormone therapy. Here to tell us more about the topic is our friend, Dr. Shell. Thanks so much for coming back Thank in. Thank you for having Good me. Good to see you again. Great to see you, Courtney. You know, over the last, I guess, couple of years, we've right. heard some good things, some bad things about sure. hormone replacement. Where are we today as far as research? Well, the research is great. There is a lot of research that has been done and is continuing to be done. And a lot of it is, you know, there are thousands of women right now who are on hormone replacement. And what you really need to look at is we need to give our um, female patients, as well as our male patients, a good quality of life. And that's what they are really lacking. We have made great advances in the medical world. But in the new era, in this new millennium, there is a lot that we need to know, that we need to tell the public mm -hmm. about hormones, because it's really about the balance of hormones, nutrition, exercise, a great diet that really leads to a great quality of life. Now, typically we mention this maybe for older women. I mean, is there a stage in life when maybe we need to start looking at this, maybe not necessarily later in life? Definitely, definitely. That's a great question, Courtney, because there are women who come to me in their 30s, and a lot of times this happens after you've gone through reproduction. So once you've had your babies, you know that there is a huge fluctuation in your hormones and your progesterone levels decrease dramatically at that time. So a lot of women are ending up in what we call the estrogen dominant stage. Mm -hmm. And that stage is where we have a lot of irritability, we have fatigue, we have decreased sex drive, mood swings, depression. These are things that really don't allow us to have a good quality of life. And once we can just balance the hormones, add a little natural progesterone to these women in a form that can be absorbed and readily recognized by the body's own receptors, which is why natural is very important, mm -hmm. we can certainly enhance this balance and give them that quality that they're looking for. Okay, very interesting. Now, you brought with you lots of books, so the Absolutely. point is there's a lot of information out definitely, there. Definitely, definitely. A lot of information out there. There is a lot of good information out there. Now, obviously, if you look in the wrong places, you're not going to get in good information, but great books that are out. Uh, we need to really look at the fact that nutrition is very important to test for nutrition. We need to know which vitamins and minerals we're deficient in. Mm -hmm. There's a fabulous test out that does that that we offer. You also need to be tested for hormones. We need to do a saliva test or a blood test in different cases to check your estrogen, progesterone, thyroid, testosterone, cortisol, all the levels of the hormones that really promote healthy living and optimal health. Great. And uh, we are talking about bioidentical hormones. That's so real right. quick, we only have about 30 seconds left sure. on this topic. Can sure. you explain that? Bioidentical hormones, by definition, is a hormone that is biologically identical to what the body produces. Therefore, we can recognize it, we can absorb it, and we can utilize it to enhance health. Awesome. Well, you're going to come back and, in a little Thank bit you. talking about another topic. That's right. Um, on um, 3D skin rejuvenation. There you go. Okay. I knew I had rejuvenation in there, so we'll Absolutely. have more information. Dr. Michelle will be back. And of course, your office is in Sugarland. So thanks so much. Great Thank to you see you. Thank you for having me. Thanks. We'll see you back in just a minute. Welcome back. Changing the look of your skin can be as simple as a trip to the doctor and non-invasive. That's good news. Here to tell us more about photo skin rejuvenation is Dr. Shalina Lalji and Dr. Shell. That's what we call you. Welcome back. Thanks Thank again you. for Thanks being for here. Thank Let's you. talk about skin uh, rejuvenation. What exactly is this? Well, this particular approach is a 3D skin rejuvenation approach. And what it is, is that it's a multi-tiered or a three-tiered approach really addressing three different layers of the skin. So we have the collagen, the dermis, and the epidermis. Okay. The collagen, we want to tighten the skin and just lift it up and tighten that skin versus having to have a facelift. Secondly, we want to get rid of the large pores, the fine lines, the wrinkles, the texture, and then finally the pigmentations, the sunspots, age spots, sun damage, and the redness. Okay, so some of the things that we're seeing where we want to color correct and all that kind That's of stuff. Right. You want to address the tone, texture, and the tightness. Okay, and so no downtime, that's the important thing. No downtime. It's really important for women who are out there working and just want to get back to their lives. It's extremely important, and so there is no downtime. You go in, you go right back to work or your daily activities, and you're done. Um, let's take a look at some before and afters because I know sure. you brought some in with you and I sure. think we can talk about the b benefits here. This one, obviously, what I can see here is red cheeks on the left and, and not red on the right. That's correct. You have uh, a woman with a lot of rosacea and texture issues on the skin. So this lady had a 2D skin rejuvenation done with a laser genesis as well as an IPL limelight photofacial. Okay, and um, one treatment or you need a couple? It probably depends on... A few treatments depending on the issues. Okay. So it, and the treatments can be spaced apart two to four 
four weeks apart, but you see significant improvement in the um, in the results as the treatments go along. Sure. Okay. And I think we have the next uh, the next before and after okay. too. This individual had skin t had an actually the entire 3D skin rejuvenation done. So as you can see under the neck, you've got a nice little pull under the neck along the cheeks as well as the jowls. And the skin tightening procedure did great dramatic results for her. Okay, yeah, that looks really good. You totally see a difference. And let's bring up the next one. Okay. Um, and then we'll talk about something else here. This sure. is really interesting too. This is wonderful. She actually had a 3D skin rejuvenation as, done as well with the Titan. If you can look at her neck and the jowls and the uh, cheeks, as well as her texture is much improved and so is her tone. Okay. Now, I know that we're saying non-invasive, but what right. does a procedure like this feel like? That's a great question. It really feels like there's been some heat generating on your face. So you feel sort of like a, some of my patients call it a warm laser okay. facial. And uh, it's very comfortable and to some it's enjoyable, the All laser right. senses. Well, great information. Dr. Thank Shell, you. uh, your website is on click2houston.com. We're going to link people over if they have more questions because right. I know last time a lot of questions people had. So thank you. Thanks so much. Great to see thank you this you. morning. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. And keep it right here. We'll be right back.